Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today we are going to be continuing on with the replacement of some of the oldest trains that we have. That is the steam trains. And we're going to be replacing this train right here. This is the Chicago to Buffalo train going into the museum right now. This train has been running since 1910. So 1910 to 1980. So this is the train we're going to be replacing. So, oh, at least the first train we're going to be replacing. So we've got to pick the right train that we need for that as an Amtrak train goes past. So make sure you stay tuned for the next 20 to 25 minutes to see that replaced and maybe something else. It looks like our... Uh our museum is actually getting really, really full right now, as you can see. We've got, uh, how many trains do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trains now sitting here. And they span, let me see if I can remember this. These are the oldest trains we had. This was uh, Chicago to St. Louis. This was Chicago to, actually, which one was older? Yeah, it was that one. 1853 to 1918, there you go, St. Louis, Chicago, that became a Green Bay one, there you go, Chicago to Green Bay, then the two merged, so that's also 18, 1861, uh, then the two merged and became this train, which ran until, uh, what, 19, I don't know, quite late, 1980, there you go, 1918 to 1980, uh, over here we've got two Can-Am, so that's the second Can-Am, and that's the first, that's the first Can-Am, we don't know when this one started, um, I'll have to look back unless somebody can go find that out for me. But that was the first Can-Am train. That was the second Can-Am train. We've just brought in the uh, Chicago to Buffalo train. In front of that was the train that we had in the last episode. So that's the two uh, Great Lakes Loops trains. So you can see those two are right there. Then we've got the Pen uh, the Philadelphia Mainline train right here. Then we've got the New York Central train. And then the one that we did a couple of episodes ago, which is the Madison to Philadelphia uh, line. Now you can see the, the engine of choice was quite clearly the Atlantics during this, uh, during this period. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the trains that are sitting uh, over here currently are Atlantics and there are going to be a few more Atlantics joining that so let's get on with finding the replacement for you and then we're going to join you on the final journey so let's have a look at what replacement train we can have uh, again it looks like we're going with Amtrak but I just don't I'm not I'm not liking the look of the I'm really not liking the look of the F40 PHs. Now maybe it's just the maybe it's just the livery. I don't know. I'm just not liking the look of them. Like I might be, I might actually switch them out to these 65 mile per hour GP GP40 2s I feel like they're the better train for the commuter routes. We just don't have the, the train that I want, that's why. Or the locomotive, should I say. Obviously, these are the the big Alcos. They're going to more than likely be taking over this Pennsylvania one. We'll have the Alcos put, put in there. You know what? I'm going to go for the GP. I mean, the steam train, the Atlantic is 62, isn't it? 62 miles per hour, 22,000 uh, pound feet of torque or tractive effort as it were, 962 bhp or horsepower uh, at the wheels and 130 tons. And this one on the other hand is... Where's the GP gone? And there, there is a, a GP, they're all the same. No, they're not. Uh, that's a GP9, that's why. Let's just pick the one we're actually after, which is you. Okay, so this is 65 miles per hour, slightly faster, far more power, uh, somewhat heavier, a lot more tractive effort. So this should be able to get up to speed faster as well. So I'll, actually, I am going to do that. I'm going to replace it with these. If they work, they do work. Okay. 
and then the coach that's going to be on them and we've got these double we've got these super liner coaches which should be interesting they were available in 1978 not sure what to make of them yet I'll have a look uh, but these ones from 1975 uh, I think these are pretty good. Oh, which one should I go for, though? How old were the Golden Sand? Where's the Golden Sand? There they are. 1950s is when they came out. I think that came out a little bit newer. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's the 71, the Amfleet trains. So we've got that. I guess we could take these. Yeah, let's take these then. One, two, three, and then I guess one of them at the back. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, they carry 21 passengers each so we're looking at 105 passengers um, as opposed to what do we have currently 72 72 up to 105 um, also the length of the train is going to go up from 120 meters to 149 meters now, even if I took one of these off take one of them off that's 123 meters and that's still going to go up from how many passengers? That's going to be 72 passengers up to 84 passengers. Should we go for that? Four coach? I feel like a five coach is probably better. I'm going to go for a five coach. There you go. Okay, replace now. So have them replaced and let's follow this on its final run. Seventy years. Now you know the only thing I don't like about these? Oh, also, you know what, before we do that, um, because I'm finding that really annoying that they, those are so fast, I know, I know it's not correct, but they are so fast, I don't like it. So you're going to GP40s as well. For now, I'm sure we'll have these uh, F40PHs somewhere. He says not able to find it. There we go. Okay. Now we're back on board. And you can just see now that now that we've got Amtrak sort of in many places. Probably gonna see an Amtrak pulling through this side as well, given the speed that those ones travel at. It's a shame I can't slow those down. That train's only 17 years old. But where does the track go? Oh, it goes along there. There it is. I got confused for a moment. I'm like, where has the track gone? Because there's a road there and there are houses there. Where's the track? Here comes uh, one of those Alco Pennsylvania Mainline Express trains. Look at the speed, that one. Look at the look at the closing speed of that train. And I know it doesn't seem massive, but that is a very very big closing speed. It really is. Considering both of them just came out of the station. 
There it goes. Now it's really coming into its stride. And Alco pull, is pulling up alongside. Can he overtake? Is he going to be able to overtake before the Atlantic has to break for Indianapolis? Will he have to stop for Indianapolis? We'll find out. Look at that. And the thing is, that genuinely looks correct, a, a fast train. In, I, I don't know whether it's correct in the United States, but in the United Kingdom, that is pretty much as realistic as it gets. And here comes the Amtraks. One last image of that before it gets converted. And let's have a look at this lovely Amtrak train that we have now. There it is. And now let's watch how fast this one picks up. Oh. It's that train. Right, that's the one that makes the funny noises. That's the one we use for the freight. We've got four of them or something. On, on one of the Canadian freight ones. Well, let's see what the speed's like on this. Will it reach 65 miles per hour pretty quickly? But that doesn't look too bad. The, it seems to fit. It seems to match. But now I'm looking at that, it does look more like a freight's locomotive. Ah. Well, it's already up to 50, just about. I wonder what it sounds like when it's just being sort of a train going past. There's two of them now. Yeah, they do sound a bit odd. I mean, that, that is something to consider. That's definitely something to consider. It actually reached full speed as well. Which one's that? I'm assuming that's the other one, given it's on the opposing platform. That is. Alright, let's see how, how they're looking for passengers. We're looking at 64 passengers on there, so that's over half. That's a little bit better. How old are you? 70 years as well. Okay. You're going to need replacements. And that's got 105. There you go, there's an acceleration difference right there for the two trains. That's a good comparison right there. That's just got to 23 whilst this is already up to 30. So by the time we come out of the tunnel, clearly we know which one's going to be ahead. Hopefully I'll see them both come around the corner. There comes one. There comes the other. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure about the GP40s, I, I will be honest. Uh, sorry, the GP... Is it GP40s? GP2s. What are they? GP40-2s, well done. Okay, so I'm not sure about them, I, I, I will say that. Let's get the St. Louis to Philadelphia train. Hmm, should we get that replaced? I mean, that's also 70 years old. No harm in getting that replaced too. And uh, we, need a, we need a slot for this. Getting this path here for that one. And again, it's going to be an Atlantic, but this time, it's going to be purple. 
uh, steam Atlantic purple which purple was it no it wasn't that one it was definitely that one there we go and then it had black carriages which were where are they these ones one two three four five was it five or four hold on let me, let me go see let me go see i think it was five five yep all right we'll send that out on a new line if you're wondering why i'm just naming the, these the way i do it's just because it's just um i mean honestly i could probably put them all on one line and name each individual train but uh this is probably easier so where does it where does it go st louis to oh what where did it go to buffalo 1910 to 1980. It's probably that's that's actually 71 years, but it's it's just a rough approximation of where and what we're looking at. I need to double check this to ensure that it is. Um, I'll go away. No, it's St. Louis to Philadelphia, not Buffalo. Philu, yeah, Philu, Philly, Philly. -E. There we go. Philly, the lesser known, the lesser known brother of uh, Wally. Sorry. Sorry, also the lesser known brother of Wally. Okay, I'll stop. Lesser known sister. There you go. Right, we need to ensure that it goes through. This platform here. Okay, good. That's going to be on its way. Now to get the replacement. Here, train, 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 train. There they are. Okay, so how many of them are there? A lot. Now, if we go for a replacement. Um, I tell you what, I'll leave you guys to, when this video comes up, I'll wait a day before I record the next episode. Let me know what you think the replacement vehicle should be on this. Yep, I'll leave it to you guys. So here you go. Here, here's the replacement uh, list that we've got. We've got diesel engines. We could potentially... Do some electrics. Uh, there, there are potentials for electric engines. These are ridiculously fast. For example, this electric engine. Um, we we could we could have a look at. So th there is that one. Uh, Eighty-seven miles per hour, eighty-five miles per hour. So th there is that that we could use if we really wanted to. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of these. I'll be honest. But if that's if that's the case, then that is what we'll do. We've also got. Uh, some of these trains that we can go for obviously we're, we're looking at amtrak but if there is another operator that does operate on this ro railroad or railway in the actually what do you guys you guys call it railroads yep yeah, we call it railways over here if there is one that you think that would do the trick uh, then let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes. Let's get that saved. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support will be massively, massively appreciated. And I'll tell you what, we'll end this episode in the same way that's we started it we'll end it right over here you can also find me on social media uh, at EC Gadget LP for both Twitter and Instagram so you can go check me out and follow me on those that is all from me I think uh, and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes <laughs>